بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی انجینئر شاہد محمد لیکچرر ایٹ ڈپارٹمنٹ آف سول انجینئرنگ قوم سرس یونیورسٹی اسلام آباد ساہی وال کیمپس ویلکم یو آل ٹو دس لیکچر نمبر ٹوینٹی سیون آف دا سبجیکٹس میکینکس آف سالڈس ٹو ٹوڈے وی ول بی اسٹڈنگ اینڈ وی ول بی سالونگ سم نومیریکلس ریگارڈنگ مہور سرکل Let me briefly uh, revisit all those topics which we studied in our, uh, our recently previous lectures. I will be reiterating the um, <coughs> benefit of stress transformation because stress transformation when you are studying, uh, you have studied previously the classical mechanics equation for uh, the application of uh, bending stresses, torsional forces, bending forces, torsional forces and axial forces okay uh, when they are co combinedly applied on an element you get different type of stresses and uh, you can calculate very easily the maximum stresses of these um, effects combined effects on an element at any level it can be at the top of the fiber it can be at the bottom of the fiber or in between and you have calculated those maximum stresses then the thing is this that under loading condition your element rotate and how much it rotates that depends and uh, and how it will fail that depends on your stress transformation so your stresses are no more perpendicular to each other okay your maximum stresses un under combined loading is different as compared to the stress at the point so for these aspects you have to transform your stresses and in order to stress study the failure criteria you have to study the stress transformation so we transformed okay we studied that uh, under loading condition different loading condition or under combined loadings your planar stress block will uh, will have three components two axial components and uh, one shear component and uh, axial components will be considered positive if they are moving away from the stress block and uh, shear stresses will be considered positive if your uh, these right corner stresses are merging arrows are merging together another uh, indication of positive shear is this that uh, your uh, right face arrow is um, pointed upwards if this arrow is pointed downwards then that means that your shear is negative anyhow uh, we did study that uh, your due to these stresses combined stresses your element can elongate that can shorten and uh, certainly that can deform an angular deformation that is the shear deformation can occur okay then we transformed and we take uh, we th thought that okay uh, these stresses are perpendicular to each other what about uh, some rotational effect or deflection effect so if there is some rotational effect in your uh, member then there is also uh, rotational effect in your element too so when that is rotating means that uh, your stresses are uh, no more perpendicular to each other your uh, you will have to s calculate some unknown stresses at um, uh, origin at any angle theta at any angle theta orientation so how are you going to calculate that we took a shear plane and inclined shear plane and we studied that uh, these are your resultant stresses axial stresses and shear stresses and these are your perpendicular stresses the original stresses which are applied due to combined loadings then we transformed um, and worked upon the derivation and we calculated shear stress uh, axial shear stress formula and shear uh, uh, axial stress formula and uh, what were those formulas and uh, these formulas were this one and this one where is this come over come over come over this one <clears throat> this is your uh, transformed axial stress formula with having an orientation theta and uh, this is your transformed shear stress formula having an orientation theta so with the change of an angle and these your these are your uh, combined stresses um, the resultant combined stresses which are applied and uh, 
so with the change in orientation of an angle you will have different values of axial stresses and different values for shear stresses okay when you have different values for um, shear and axial stresses so what about the maximum and minimum shear stresses and what about maximum and minimum axial stresses because we are not interested in um, stresses at, at every angle neither that means something to uh, us uh, being a student of structural mechanics so you can see that a different orientation your stress block magnitude of stresses changes so this is the effect of stress transformation okay so uh, then we studied that uh, we have to find then we came to know that we have to find we cannot just calculate all those uh, for all these members uh, stresses like this then we came to the conclusion that we have to find the plane or the angle of the plane orientation of the plane uh, at which your uh, shear stresses and principal stresses are maximum all right and uh, then we calculated from few more formulas and the uh, maximum shear stress formula we derived like this one and maximum shear angle so this will be applied at uh, maximum shear plane orientation and the orientation of the maximum shear plane will be this one and uh, we have also stated that uh, at the plane where maximum shear stresses will occur uh, correspondingly at different uh, uh, axial directions you will have mean stresses okay and from mean stresses and you have calculated top maximum shear stresses and uh, mean stresses then you can very easily calculate maximum principal stresses and minimum principal stresses okay maximum principal stresses is states that uh, you have to add shear stresses and mean stresses you will get maximum principal stresses and you have to subtract mean stresses uh, shear stresses from mean stresses you will get minimum shear stresses okay simple then uh, later on uh, we did some development on those equations and uh, we came with the, another solution that okay that was classical generic equation method and uh, that is uh, with the help of equation uh, there was an a scientist no names Otto Mohor and he gave, gave us a graphical solution for this uh, same procedure and uh, we studied that maximum shear stresses formula and uh, maximum shear angle and means stresses and uh, with the help of uh, triangle assumptions and uh, calculations we studied that okay this uh, principal plane can be calculated uh, written like this one and uh, you can construct this on the basis of this equation you can construct a triangle and with the help of this triangle we uh, calculated some basic uh, law of, by application of uh, law of um, no, no, law of law sine and law of cosine not they are something else uh, by applying right angle triangle formulas uh, cosine and uh, sine rule and uh, we came to know different quantities and uh, this quantity we uh, uh, had a replacement on stress transformation equation this is your stress transformation equation and we have re we have re replaced this quantity with this one and this one and we got this equation and similarly shear stress uh, transform shear stress formula we incorporated this thing and uh, then we took uh, square at both sides of equation a and square at both sides of equation b and then added them together we got this uh, equation and this looks uh, similar to the Pythagoras theorem or you can say that um, circle formula you can see that c square is equal to a square plus b square and very easily you can construct this this is your x axis and this is your y axis and this is your path uh, pen, um, you can say that hypotenuse so with the help of this you can see that uh, angle change is twice as compared to a uh, single angle change okay then what we did that uh, we calculated that uh, from what is the procedure of constructing a Mohr circle is this that uh, you have to construct a, a straight uh, coordinate axis and uh, Cartesian coordinate axis uh, typically they are x and y but this time they will change this will be sigma and this will be tau and y axis will be shear stresses and y axis represent will be representing maximum shear stresses in uh, downwards direction and minimum shear stresses 
uh, in uh, maximum shear stresses, negative shear stresses in upwards direction. And uh, similarly, uh, minimum shear uh, axial stresses in uh, rightward, leftwards direction and and uh, extreme left direction and uh, rightwards direction will be the maximum principal stresses. Okay, this this line depicts uh, principal stresses and this line depicts maximum shear stresses. Okay, you have calculated uh, two. Th three things are uh, important that first you have to locate the origin point and uh, you have to uh, um, find the coordinates of the origin point stress mean comma mm, zero degree you have studied that at the mean point or at the mm, when shear stresses are zero you will have average stresses in other directions so this is the point you mm, place the point and then you will uh, locate mm, the original stress block the original stress block have two coordinates sigma x and tau xy and sigma y and tau xy so uh, two coordinates and you have to plot them and uh, you will get two points two different points and uh, you can see that uh, sigma x comma plus tau xy and sigma y comma minus tau xy minus tau xy is in upwards direction and positive tau xy is in downwards direction okay furthermore Furthermore, we studied that uh, this is was your original stress block and uh, at any orientation theta, you can calculate uh, if mm, at outside the circle, you will have uh, theta and when you come inside the circle, you will have two theta and uh, at any angle th th rotated theta, you can find transformed stresses and uh, st stress transformation and uh, you can also find the maximum and minimum principal stresses okay so and uh, when there are maximum and minimum principal stresses then there are no shear stresses because you are uh, you are lying over this line x axis line and uh, there is no y component so y component are shear components so over shear components are not uh, you cannot see any shear component over here so shear stresses are always zero in case of maximum shear stresses and minimum shear stresses uh, while in case of maximum shear stresses, uh, you will have mean or average stresses in other directions. Okay, the difference between uh, the plane of uh, maximum shear and uh, principal stresses is 90 degree in uh, Mohor circle, but outside it is V, it will be 45 degree. If you subtract uh, 45 degree from principal plane, you will get shear plane and if you add uh, 45 degree to principal plane you will get shear plane okay so that was the revision of uh, our previous uh, content uh, so let me move to example problem number 7.9 very simple problem nothing difficult problem states that for the stress straight shown uh, draw mohor circle for this block you have to draw the mohor circle from the circle determine the stresses on an element 25 degree counterclockwise clockwise is in clockwise direction and anti clockwise counterclockwise is in anti clockwise direction from the x y axis the principal stresses uh, stress element okay <clears throat> What you have to do? Uh, you have to extract the values which are required. Sigma x is uh, 120 megapascal positive, and sigma y is this. These are the stresses. Okay, these are the megapascal. These are the stresses. These are not newton or pounds, so they are not forces. These are stresses, and uh, R stresses vectors, R strains vectors. Think about that. What about stress tensors? Explore them, okay? Explore them. Maybe you find some interesting and fascinating concepts. Stress tensor. Okay. 
sigma x is equal to 120 megapascal and sigma y is equal to 20 megapascal and tau x y i told you before that uh, there are two indications that uh, shear will be positive if shear uh, you are seeing that right top corner and both arrows are merging together then this is positive shear and if there you can see another way is this that you see the rightmost face of the block and if the arrow is upwards then that is positive shear okay so positive shear you have taken first step is this that uh, you have drawn the coordinate axis x and y and the x is uh, principal stresses and y is shear stresses second step was this that you have to locate the uh, center point and at center you have you know that shear stresses are zero y uh, and x axis you will have average stresses so average stress formula is stress mean is equal to 1 by 2 uh, sigma x plus sigma y you have to take the um, consideration for the sign uh, if that is negative you have to put negative and is equal to 70 megapascal and uh, what about the magnitude what about the radius so radius of the circle is tau max is equal to under root uh, 1 by 4 sigma y minus sigma x whole square plus tau x y whole square incorporate the values and you will get 58.3 megapascal you have to recheck uh, otherwise a um, uh, few weeks ago and we calculated some on the calculator and we got some wrong results so you need to calculate these uh, answers too in your practice sessions okay you have calculated them and now you have to plot them and uh, this is your uh, 70 megapascal and comma zero and this can be plotted on uh, some original uh, you can say that um, what you call that sheet that specific sheet in which grids are made and <laughs> which chart that is what is that name anyhow um, not glazed paper that is another paper anyhow draw the vertical and horizontal uh, we have drawn them horizontal and uh, vertical co coordinates and uh, draw points a at uh, point a at uh, means there are two components sigma x and uh, to <coughs> alhamdulillah sigma x and uh, tau x y and uh, sigma y and tau x y two coordinates and you have to plot them and point a is sigma x tau x y sigma x and tau x y is sigma x and tau x y there is this uh, this he has said that it is point b okay point a he has sent the origin uh, if i were there i would have written it o anyhow uh, this is point b uh, sigma 120 megapascal how you are going to construct you have reached 70 and now you are going uh, more steps and uh, you reached 120 this is your x axis and in y axis how much you have to move 30 30 positive and i told you before that 30 positive uh, positive shear is downwards so positive shear and you will uh, come this point and this is your point okay you have got it another one Third, 20 is uh, share y and uh, share y is uh, upwards sigma y okay and uh, you can see that sigma y is positive in uh, this direction and sigma x is positive in this direction remember this thing sigma y is positive in this direction and sigma x is positive in this direction and uh, you can see that tau is 30 megapascal and uh, 30 megapascal you have to construct and uh, you will go to when minus 30 megapascal because upwards is minus you have joined you have to join b with c and you will get this original stress block and very easily you can find the angle of this original stress block uh, with the principal stresses so principal plane you can find that how much uh, angle you can rotate that you will reach the principal plane and uh, that is this is a triangle so um, 1 by 2 base into height uh, okay that is an area formula anyhow uh, through perpendicular what is your perpendicular this is your perpendicular this is your perpendicular and perpendicular is 30 
this one okay this is 30 so 2 theta p uh, in uh, more circle you will uh, your all angles are in 2 theta and uh, 2 theta principal and this is your base and base how are you going to calculate this is 120 distance and uh, this is 70 120 minus 70 this is the distance so uh, perpendicular divided by base you will get uh, an inverse theta and you will get 30.96 so 30.96 if you move uh, you will come to the principal plane okay that is uh, 30.96 okay now, and then second question that uh, you have to find the transform stress is not a principal maximum uh, er, principal stresses you have to find okay later on we will find no problem uh, now we have to find the transform stresses at a angle 25 degree counterclockwise so you are lying here so 25 degree is outwards uh, means out of the um, more circle so you will have to double your angle when you come inside the more circle so 25 plus 25 50 degree so your original axis is this one and uh, original element is this one and oriented at angle 39.6 and uh, you have to add 50 degree and you will reach the transformed axis and uh, what is the magnitude of this b dash uh, very easily you can calculate is this at uh, average stresses plus um, this uh, this one uh, this resultant this angle what is the resultant this one tom x tau max cos theta and tau max sin theta if you are going to calculate the um, uh, x component of b dash uh, uh, stress uh, mean this is the mean stress plus resultant or uh, hypotenuse cos theta you will transform uh, it this plane to below and uh, this is x axis and if you take the sine theta then this is y component and uh, this will be minus because this direction is upwards it is above the mm, principal stresses and uh, similarly point c dash you can see that uh, mean minus how much you are going to minus okay c dash um, you are have to calculate and uh, you have to resolve c dash minus uh, this hypotenuse cos theta see uh, this is uh, your mean minus hypotenuse cos theta and uh, your shear is positive downwards so mm, this one 58.3 sine this degree and you will get the coordinates this is your magnitude in megapascals okay and this is your transformed uh, stresses very easily we have found the angles too and uh, okay and now you have to find the principal stresses uh, how are you going to find the principal stresses you are lying over here and uh, you have to find this one so principal stresses are uh, you have to add 70 plus uh, this resultant or this hypotenuse or radius uh, radius is how much tau max and uh, you have to add 70 plus 58.3 you will get uh, maximum principal stresses and uh, you subtract that you will get minimum principal stresses and what about the orientation orientation is similar mm, and that you have to find uh, that okay orientation is that uh, 25 degree uh, this is your transform stresses uh, which you have calculated over here this is your uh, x dash 125 and uh, minus you can see that uh, top right corner and uh, arrows are uh, away from that corner and uh, this is negative shear you need not to write minus here because uh, already the direction is showing that this is minus this is your transform stresses and uh, what about the orientation of uh, your principal stresses uh, you can see over here this is 19.0 uh, four is your transform stresses angle okay with the principal stresses uh, but in reality uh, you will have 25 degree at orientation of transformed stresses and 
later on you can see that principal stresses uh, you have, can calculate that principal plane uh, from the original stress block how much you have to orient the principal plane and uh, you have calculated 30 point and uh, outside uh, this is inside and outside uh, you will have to take the half of the circle uh, half of this angle and uh, this will be your original orientation and you can see that 30.96 divided by 2 and 58 point this is your uh, and uh, what will be the, uh, this is positive then that positive means that you have to move counterclockwise and if that is negative then that is uh, clockwise okay so that's it that's it and end to problem number 7.9 so very simple uh, solve it step by step and uh, we'll see you in next lecture assalamu alaikum